today we're going to do this braid style this is a boy's hairstyle um, and i'm doing this on my son jace so if you're interested keep watching <laughs> So the first thing I'm going to do is blow dry his hair. This is something that I recently just started doing before I would just um, braid their hair while it was wet. But I have decided to start braiding their hair while it's dry. I think that I get better parting while it's dry. And also truthfully I want to start stitch braiding. <laughs> So I know stitch braiding would probably be a lot easier for straight hair. So um, yeah, I bought this Revlon blow dryer with a brush handle and I like it a lot. It's very effective. It does its job. And yeah, so we're just going to dry his hair, get it all nice and straight. Um, and then we're going to start the braiding. After I have blow dried it, I'm going to add a little bit of oil. I make my own oil. That is a video for another day. I put just multiple different oils in there. It's mainly olive oil, but I'll show you guys another time. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna separate the hair into two halves. So I measure from the very middle of your forehead and that's where you would start, you know, your part. And so we're going to do one part from the middle of the forehead all the way to the back of his head. Now that that is done, we're going to tie off one side and we're going to just work on the right side of his hair for now. Now that I've done that, I am going to part it in three sections. The first two sections will be smaller than the third. and. So right now I'm doing the outermost braid, the outermost part, that's section number one, that's going to be one braid. And following behind that, I'm going to do um, another braid, fairly the same size. And then we'll, we'll be, we will be left with a part that's only in the middle. And that part is what we're going to do our triangular, triangular braids. So I'm just going to braid this braid down. It's not going to be pretty. It's not perfect or anything. It's just kind of braiding it down to get it out of my way so that I can focus on, you know, everything else that I have to do. So now we're going to move on to the second braid, which like I said, is going to be pretty much about the same size as the first one that we did. Um, and we're going to braid this one down and get this out of the way as well so that we can start working on the triangular braids in the middle. So we're not doing any fancy braids right now. I'm not adding any gel. I'm not doing any of that. I'm just braiding these two back just to get them out of my way so that I can focus on the middle, which is where all the detail of the, hair the hairstyle is. All right, so now that I have those two done, I'm going to just braid down the middle and do the same thing to the other side.
We have both sides done now. We have two braids on each side of his hair. And what we have left is two sections in the middle of his hair. What we're gonna do with these two sections is we're gonna braid them in a triangular shape, in a triangular pattern, almost like a zigzag pattern. So as we do this zigzag along each section, it's actually gonna end up looking like triangles. The very first triangle that I sectioned out in the front of his hair, we're not going to braid that one right away. We're twisting that one and getting that one out of the way. We are now going to apply our gel and do our first plaits to our second triangular area. Now what's very important is when we're doing this to really get the style that we want is that we have to braid, um, we have to make the braids fall on opposite sides. So that first braid that I did was to the left side of his head. And so the second braid after that was to the right side of his head. And I don't know if you can see that now, but this braid that I'm about to do, I'm actually gonna braid it to the right side of his head. But if you notice the braid before that one is actually braided to the left side of his head. And so that's the pattern that we wanna keep going all the way on both sides. <laughs> Now that we've done all of our triangular braids and that is completed, we're going to untwist the very front triangle. What I've done is I've actually taken out um, the, I have taken out one of the braids on the side of his hair. Remember I told you the, root, the two of them, the two braids on the side 
we're just kind of doing them to hold the space. So I have taken out one and I have used that very front triangle and that's where I started the braid to now make this braid go back but gather all of the other plaits that fall on this side into it. So you have to also be very careful that you're not adding extra plaits in there that doesn't belong in there. You might wanna get yourself a clip or something to keep all the plaits that are supposed to be on the left side to the left while you braid the right or vice versa. So now that's all I'm doing. I'm just going through it and I'm adding all the plaits that belong on this side. And I am braiding them all together, braiding it all back. So I'm just now um, taking out some of the plait because I braided it too long. So I am releasing it a little bit so that it actually looks appropriate in the braid. <laughs> and doesn't just look like a plait in a braid, but like it's actually a part of the braid. And we're just going to continue doing that all the way to the back. I really did like this hairstyle. This is um, a style that my son actually requested. My son told me that he wanted the ha a hairstyle with the crosses. <laughs> so um, this is, um, you know, what he said he wanted. And I do, I like it. Unfortunately, being that I am so pregnant, um, I feel like I didn't do as well as I could have with this hairstyle, mainly because I didn't really check my parting in the front prior to starting it and making sure that it was as even as I would have liked it. And this is the finishing product. This is what we have. And I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys like it. Please give it a thumbs up if you do. And I will see you on the next video.